need to know Him, the God who loves you, and you need to serve Him with all of your heart and with all of your mind. Because if you do that, hallelujah, God will take care of you and God will take care of your seeds, of your children. From generation to generation, He is faithful. Hallelujah. And so when He drew near, hallelujah, to dying, He gave charge to Solomon, I am about to go away. Be strong, show yourself a man, and observe what the Lord your God requires. Walk in His ways, and keep His decrees and commands, His laws and requirements. Ang sabi niya mga kapatid, Hallelujah, and the Lord, uh, if you do that, you will prosper in all you do, and wherever you go. And the Lord may keep His promise. Your descendant, ang sabi ni David mga kapatid, ang iyong lahi, ang iyong mga anak, ay pagpapalain ng ating Panginoon, ng mga Panginoon, ng aking pinaglilikuran. Shall we say praise the Lord? Shall we clap our hands to the Lord? Mga kapatid? Ang sabi niya mga kapatid, take it from me. Amen. Take my advice. I had experienced it. He prospered me. He helped me. He never let my, my kids go uh, begging. Amen. That's my own experience. I have experienced the goodness and the power of the Lord. And now I'm dying. I am recommending it to you. Directly. Shall we say amen? Shall we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. And so he gave that advice to, to his son. We need to know the God of our Father. We need to know Him personally. Shall we say amen? Shall we say praise the Lord? Alam niyo ba yung sabihin mga kapatid? It's not what we do. Sometimes we equate mga kapatid our relationship with God by what we do mga kapatid. But God loves you bago ka pa independent of your performance. Bible said that He commended His love toward you that while we were yet sinners, Christ said, makasalanan ka pa mga kapatid ay hinahagan na ng ating Panginoon. Gano'n pa kaya ngayon mga kapatid? It is very personal. Hallelujah. Shall we say amen? And yet the sad thing is we don't really know Him. Marami mga kapatid in the body of Christ just like Thomas, Lord show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus uh, said to him, ang tatatagal mo na akong kasama, hindi mo pa rin ako kilala. So we say, man, I have been with you for a long time, you still don't know me. Yet, mga kapatid, Thomas' statement is very descriptive of many people in the body of Christ, mga kapatid. We've been in a church for a long time, hallelujah, we attend uh, every Bible study, we go to church every Sunday, and yet, we don't really know Him. So we say, man, We know about Him, but God wants us to know Him. Shall we say praise the Lord? Shall we clap our hands to the Lord? Amen. I don't want to be a part of those crowds in the book of Matthew. Mahakapati who, who said to the Lord, We did many wonderful works. We did this and that. And yet the Lord said, Depart from me. I never know you. It's not about uh, the things that we do. God wants our personal relationship with Him. Shall we say Amen? Shall we clap our hands to the Lord? It's one thing about putting to. We are created for His pleasure. When He created Adam and Eve, my the Bible said, uh, they heard the Lord walking in the cool of the day just to have fellowship with Him. Shall we say Amen? Open that every day the Lord visit, visited them. Every day. Without fail, mga kapatid. Para makapag-fellowship sa kanila. That is the Lord's intention. For us to have a personal relationship with Him. Amen? Kaya tayo ginawa, mga kapatid, for His pleasure. For fellowship. He wants private time with us, mga kapatid. So every day, go there, mga kapatid. In the cold day, just to have fellowship. So we say Amen. So you say amen. So instead of giving, uh, instead of ministering to people about God, we need to start ministering unto the Lord. 
Sometimes we get so busy ministering to people about God, and we forget to minister to the Lord. Our private, personal time with God. Amen. See, a strange scripture in the Bible we can read. We can read, they minister unto the Lord. And when you think about it, Mark, how can you minister to the one who owns everything? Sabi, naisip natin, makapag-minister lang tayo sa mga nangangailangan, then it's a need. So you have to minister. But the Bible, Mark, it's a strange uh, statement in the scripture where we can read, they minister. They minister unto the Lord. The God who owns everything. The God who created everything. The God who owns uh, the 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 the, the the cattle in the thousand hills. The God who uh, spread all the stars in the universe, mga kapatid. Paano ka mag-minister sa Diyos na nasa kanya lahat, mga kapatid? Just your relationship. Amen. Shall we say praise the Lord? Amen. Shall we say praise the Lord? Amen. Shall we say praise God? I'm not trying to compare God to us, mga kapatid, but there is a comparison. God loves us. Hallelujah. All He wants, mga kapatid, is fellowship with Him. So we say praise the Lord. Praise God. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. It's more than just words, but it is coming from his heart. We say amen. We say amen. I've, I've, uh, I've uh, heard about this, but bless me. The word that uh, I bless the Lord, sometimes it becomes uh bibig sa simbahan, mga kapatid. Lord bless you. But we, we really don't understand. We really don't mean. So, so church culture, mga kapatid, it becomes a, they said, a cliche. Uh, I bless you, Lord. But God, when we say I bless the Lord, it's not more than, it's, it's not the words that we say, mga kapatid. It's how we say it. So we say amen. Let's say uh, if you have a child, if you have a son, amen, at dumapit sa iyo, mga kapatid, sinabi niya sa iyo, God bless you. Walang dating, she will say amen, God bless you. But when, but when it comes to you, mga kapatid, and really it's hard to say, thank you for everything you did for me. She will say amen, it bless your heart. That's how it bless your heart. Pag lumapit sa iyo, mga kapatid, na religious, uh, that God bless you. It's, it doesn't mean anything to me. And when you come to me, my family, and it says, uh, you are a good father, you're a good provider. Thank you for everything. It blesses my heart. That's what the Lord wants, my family. God don't want us to be religious. God wants us to have a personal, private, intimate relationship with Him. We need to know Him. We need to know Him, the God who loves you personally. And we need to serve the Lord our God with all our hearts, our mind, and our spirit. So we say amen. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy might, with all thy soul. Shall we all stand today? Yeah.